Today, we're gonna to show you how to upgrade the lights behind your dash panel on your Super Duty. Now, this is a 2001 Super Duty. It's got a few light bulbs that are out and I have replaced the light bulbs in the past before. It's not that difficult, you just need to know how to do it. The first thing you have to do is remove the stereo. If you have the factory stereo, you need these release pins, which just poke into these holes right here and that lets the stereo pull straight out towards you. You can buy these pins pretty much in any auto store. I will also put a link down below. That way, if you need them, you can get them. Once you have the tools inserted, you pull to the sides and straight towards you, and that will release the stereo. Now, my particular stereo, I only had to remove two plugs. One was the antenna plug, the orange one on the right, and then the power and speaker wire plug was the one on the left. On top of the stereo compartment are two screws that you're gonna to wanna to loosen up or you could remove them, but loosening them up will allow the panel to come off. This front panel itself is held on with a bunch of clips and I find the easiest way to remove it is after you have removed the radio to reach inside and give it a good pull towards you. That will release most of those clips. Now, after you've released most of it, you can work right around the edge, just like this. Keep on popping those clips. There's another one that released. This one over here has not released yet. And now it's been released. This will give you just enough room to reach inside and unplug these plugs on the back side of the headlight switch and the dash dimmer switch. From the other side, you should have access to get any other plugs loose or any other connectors off the back side of the panel. Once all the plugs are removed, you should be able to remove the dash cover up and over the steering wheel. This gives you access to the cluster gauge and there are four screws holding the cluster gauge on. You'll need a 7mm nut driver or a socket to remove those screws. You will have to unplug the shift indicator display as well. And that's pretty simple. There's a couple of little ears in here that you shove in. They're just little black ears. Shove in and pull down and that will remove the whole display. After the removal of that shift display, that allows you to tip the instrument cluster away a little bit so you can reach in behind and remove all three plugs. Looking at the back side of the cluster, you can see there are two different size light bulbs used. They were incandescent back when this truck was built, so this display has a little bit of a soft, warm light glow from it. We're going to put LEDs in it, which is going to give it a crisp look. It's actually going to make the colors pop. It's going to look like a completely different display. To change those light bulbs out, you have to twist these sockets out. It's a counterclockwise motion. You pull straight out, and you can see the light bulb just pushes in to the socket like so. The smaller of the two bulbs work exactly the same way. They're just really small. You may need a pair of pliers to help you grab a hold of the base to spin it counterclockwise to pull it out. The LEDs that I'm going to be using, I will put a link down below, but basically you're looking at two different size light bulbs. The smaller ones are a automobile size 37 light bulb and the larger ones are a 194. You can find these in any auto store. I ordered mine on Amazon and again, I ordered LEDs. They look a little bit different because LEDs don't look like a standard bulb but they are completely compatible with its display the smaller ones come with new bases which you may or may not want to use these bulbs will fit into the factory base but the new base also fits the display just as well now unfortunately because these are led lights they are polarity sensitive so you have to align the positive up with the positive and the negative up with the negative i don't know if you can see it on the camera here but up in the top right corner is marked what polarity it is so there's a little plus here which means this lead here is positive and if you flip it over there's a little negative up here, which means the lead down here is negative. Unfortunately, our cluster does not tell us what is negative and what is positive, but I've done a little bit of footwork for you, and if you take a look at this picture, you can kind of figure it out. All the black ones are the bigger bulbs. I have marked a positive where the positive needs to go, and all of the little ones, I have drawn a little red line right across the back side of the socket here so you can see where the positive side is. If you follow the traces through, it's not really complicated to figure out, but hopefully this picture comes in clear enough that you can see where the positive is and where the negative should be. If you get it wrong, it's not going to hurt anything. You just need to pull the bulb out, give it a 180 twist, put it back in, lock it in, and then it'll work. But if you pay attention before you put it all back together, this shouldn't be a big deal for you. Putting everything back in is, well, just the same way as you took it out, just in reverse. You do want to test your panel first before you button everything up. And I will also make mention that the high beam bulb, I did have the polarity backwards. So if you followed my guide, go ahead and flip the polarity on the high beam because I had that one backwards. But when you turn the key, of course, all your lights light up and it gives you kind of a quick test of what's working and what is not. And right now, all of our bulbs seem to be working as they should. 
I am completely amazed at how well this turned out. This dash really just pops. The camera really doesn't give it justice. All of the greens are very brilliant. All the yellows and the reds are very brilliant. They're not kind of faded out by that incandescent bulb. They're just very crisp and sharp. This is a great upgrade to do. It didn't cost a lot of money. And again, I will put a link down below of all of the parts and pieces. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos, and at the very least, you might be entertained.